Welcome back to Beer Barbecue Baseball. We are having Crank IPA, India Pale Ale, canned on 4-23-2019. Uh, it's made by Cycle Brewing Company out of Florida. And it is 7% uh, alcohol by volume and 55 IBUs. Pretty cool, crazy looking can. And they are out of Lakeland, Florida. Actually, it says St. Petersburg, Petersburg and then by Cycling Brewing out of Lakeland. Brewed and packaged for Cycle Brewing. Okay. St. Petersburg. So the packaging plant is in St. Petersburg, the but the brewery's in Lakeland. Lakeland. All right. So. I have not had anything from them before. I assume it's local or at least regional distribution. So I haven't seen them in the Midwest. We had a beer smuggler bring this back for us. So thanks, Tony. <laughs> Or is it a beer bootlegger? Bootlegger. I don't know. I'm sure he passed one or two dry counties on the way back, but that's all right. You can have I feel like more. I got more than you. That's all right. You're There's lot, still some in there. You're a lot bigger than I am, so. Oh. Smells good. We've been having uh, a lot of stouts and Belgians all night, some ciders. Mm. This now one is a uh, classic IPA. We yeah. are super floral. We got some fruity, we got some citrus. I am not a fan. If I had to pick a style to drink the rest of my life, it wouldn't be an IPA. However, I like the way they smell. Yeah, it does smell phenomenal. It looks good. That head is hanging around there for a while. It's got some really nice lacing. Now we're talking. I feel a lot more comfortable now. Definitely getting citrus, pineapple. Yep. It's not a huge IBU count, but I mean, the stuff we've been hitting tonight has been at 17 or so. And what'd you say this one is 55? 55 IBUs, yeah. So you get a little bit of that, that hoppy bite. Mm. Yeah. This is good. The smell is fantastic, the taste is fantastic. It's not quite a juice bomb, but it's borderline. Yeah. It's a, it's a little fruity in there and it holds on, so. Mm. It's That's got delightful. A, it's got a good mouth feel too. It's a little bit of, there's a little bit of body to this one. A little bit of grassiness at the end. Yeah. I'm impressed. The lacing's good. The carbonation's really hanging on, which is the best part of an IPA. You you lose that quick and you lose all the flavor and smell. So this one's sticking with me. Yeah, I'm impressed too. It's really good. Um, cycle brewing. Again, neither one of us has had it. Crazy looking can. Uh, if you ever had this, let us know, or any other beers from this brewery. Um, you know, it's it's an enjoyable beer. It, let's see, April, probably borderline getting, I mean, it still tastes very fresh. Yeah. But typically an IPA starts getting malty right around the three, three and a half month. So we're... I keep forgetting when we're just the beginning of August, yeah. right? So we're probably right there, getting real close. So, yep. 
If you are in the southeast region at all and you, you know that this is available, let us know. I'd, I'd be curious to see what their distribution is or if it's totally local. I would think they're a little higher. Obviously, they're canning. Uh, it's a printed can as opposed to a wrapped label. So you would think they do a little bit more volume than some of the smaller guys. Yeah. All right, I am, I'm going to go out and give this a four and a quarter. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I like an IPA that that is uh, really really a floral and a citrus smell. That's that's my favorite part of it. This one's hanging on, and it's juicy on the taste. So I'm a I'm at a four. So hmm. okay, well, that's pretty good. All right. So again, if you've had this, let us know. Drop some comments down there. Uh, if you know about their distribution, let us know as well. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Let's go.